In today's episode, an 80-year-old woman tending to her garden by the lake slips into the alligator-infested water. Within seconds of hearing her splashing in the water, two alligators rush to the scene looking for an easy meal. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This is the terrifying alligator attack on Rosemarie Wigan. Welcome to Final Affliction. Gardening is typically a risk-free hobby, one which can be enjoyed in retirement. But when it's performed on a lakeside in Florida, it suddenly becomes a risky business, as some people found out when they witnessed their 80-year-old neighbor slip into the alligator-infested water right in front of their eyes. At the Boca Royale Golf and Country Club in South Sarasota County, Florida, deadly predators lurked in the on-site lakes and ponds. Covering an area of 1,000 acres, the country club includes a golf course, nature preserves, and is home to more than 1,000 families. Living there also meant sharing your backyard with some of America's most deadly predators, alligators. Rosemarie Weigand had spent her entire life serving others. She worked in the nursing field in hospitals and medical offices before settling down in Florida to retire. Little did she know that it would turn out to be her premature resting place. Alligators are known to inhabit every body of fresh water in Florida. Walking besides lakes or ponds in the state is considered dangerous. There are signs along most waterways, warning people to stay away from the edge. Every year, dogs that leap into the water are taken by the reptiles as they look similar to their mammalian prey such as muskrats, raccoons, and small deer but occasionally they consider humans as prey and take an opportunity when it presents itself. On Friday, July 15, 2022, 80-year-old Rose Marie was doing something that was not normally considered dangerous, gardening. Her property overlooked one of the lakes at the country club. Residents knew alligators lived in the pond. Sometimes they would come out onto dry land and bask in the sun. Other times, people could spot their knobbly bodies protruding through the water's surface like floating logs. They moved from pond to pond, sometimes crossing the road to do so. But they had never caused any problems before. People knew they were there, and they knew they must respect them and avoid them. Rose Marie and her husband Edward had always maintained their garden impeccably. Gardening was one of Rosemarie's many hobbies, alongside reading, swimming, baking, and even yoga, which she practiced at the Englewood YMCA. The couple had lived there in Boca Royale for 20 years and were known to local residents. They were friendly and likable, welcoming new faces to the gated community. When Edward passed away two years before, Rosemarie continued the hard work in the garden, something that would soon prove fatal for her. On the evening of July 15th, she was pulling weeds out of the grassy bank in her garden. Her back was turned to the water. It was around 7.45 p.m. The air was warm and still. The sounds from the neighbors drifted over the water, the roar of a car rolling by in the quiet neighborhood, people mowing their grass. It was a regular evening. Two alligators floated in the lake a short distance away from Rosemarie's property. Locals had watched them grow over the years. One neighbor had moved in when the alligators were just four feet long, but now they were considerably larger than that and posed a real threat to anyone entering the water. Residents knew to keep their dogs on a leash. That evening, the two resident alligators were largely hidden by the rushes and reeds lining the bank, but their senses were always alert. They were opportunistic hunters always on the search for an easy meal, always ready to react. When Rose tugged on a particularly stubborn weed in the bank of her lawn, it suddenly gave way. She stumbled backwards, lost her footing, and she was sent flying into the water. She landed with a loud splash. Shaken and surprised, she scrambled to right herself and climb out of the pond. She fumbled in the water, kicking and splashing furiously but she didn't realize that she was just moments away from death and she didn't see what was behind her. Some neighbors who had seen Rosemarie fall into the water thought that she had been walking in her garden when she had suddenly fallen. They suspected that she may have experienced some kind of medical episode which caused her to collapse and fall into the lake. 
Either way, the loud splash alerted neighbors to the danger she was in, but they weren't the only ones to notice the 80-year-old lying vulnerable in the water. All the commotion had alerted the two alligators to her struggle. Instinct kicked in, and they swam purposefully towards her. A prey animal in distress was the easiest of targets, and they homed in. Their eyes were sharp, their movements smooth as they glided along the surface of the lake, propelled by their muscular tails. From the other side of the water, residents spotted the telltale outlines of the two large alligators swimming towards the woman. A small bow wave in front of their rounded snouts, their dark bodies, shadows beneath the water's surface. They yelled at Rosemary to hurry and get out of the lake, but before she could escape the water, Rose was firstly trying to keep herself afloat. The shock of the cold water had taken her breath away, and she seemed to be having trouble keeping her head above water. Then she kicked for the side and reached out with her hands, but before she could make it, the alligators grabbed hold of her. She let out a cry as she was pulled backwards, away from the safety of dry land. The alligators' teeth ripped through her skin, and their jaws clamped down around her legs, both reptiles attacking simultaneously. The elderly lady didn't stand a chance as she was pulled under the water. Horrified onlookers immediately rushed to the lakeside and dialed for the emergency services. 911, what's the location of the emergency? No. Oh, I just drowned. Okay, okay, I'm sir, the... what is your address? I was playing the sick hole, and this lady was across the water. It looked like she was trimming the edge, and she fell in. She was screaming. I tried to get to her, and she went under. I just couldn't find her. I'm walking over there now. Okay. Yeah, I can see the gator floating in the water, so I'm not going. Like, so I'm not going in there. There's something floating around here now. Oh my God! Is that her? She tried to fight back. She tried to pull herself free, but the enormous reptiles, one measuring eight foot ten inches long and the other seven foot seven inches, were too powerful. With a bite force of more than two thousand psi, the alligators weren't letting go. They readjusted their grip and rolled Rose over and over. The force from the attack dislocated Rose's neck and bruised her spinal column. She was gone within a matter of seconds. There was nothing anyone could have done. And although her final moments will play out in the minds of those who witnessed them, in reality, the whole thing happened in less than a minute. It was so quick. The raw power of the alligator's attack was brutal and deadly. Hearing the commotion, other neighbors rushed to the scene. They found Rose face down in the water. The emergency services arrived at 8.15 p.m. and she was pulled from the lake. Tragically, she was pronounced dead at the scene. It was an incredible shock for the community and for all who knew Rose Marie. She had died in the most horrific way imaginable, just feet from her own home. Her family had already been through so much, having lost Edward just two years earlier, and now they had to say goodbye to Rose Marie as well. The close-knit community was shaken. To have such a terrible attack happen just yards from their own homes really brought home just how dangerous the water can be. An expert local trapper was called in and caught the two alligators. They were relocated elsewhere. Other alligators in the gated community were also removed to reassure residents that those responsible were no longer in the area. But it won't be long before the lakes are occupied by alligators once more, as they flourish in Florida's tropical climate. Removing one only makes room for another to occupy the space. Every year, there are around six or seven unprovoked alligator attacks in the state of Florida. Between 1948 and 2021, there were 26 fatalities. Although there is a very real threat from alligators in Florida, the chances of being bitten by one is slim. According to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, which manages the state's fish and wildlife resources, chances are only 3.1 million to one. But if you're that one, you may end up meeting your terrifying final affliction.